Hello everybody and welcome back to the series I'm doing on FIFA 15 career mode. This is now episode 4 of the Preston North End career mode and we are starting off the episode by an, with an away match against Port Vale now. This was not going to be an easy game. I mean Port Vale definitely not the easiest team in the league but they're certainly not the best. You know they were, they were never going to be any pushovers but as you can see here just sorting out the team I decided to go with Welsh in the centre of the park and I decided to put McAllister in there as well uh, just to you know differ the squad a little bit and I do decide to keep Jones in there as well I actually decide to put Brownhill as the attacking midfielder in this team and just to try him out there you know different position didn't really have a place for him in the centre of the park today so I decided to play him just in behind Joe Garner and well Paul Vale let's just say with Joe Garner they're not they're not the biggest fans of Joe Garner, and if you're a Preston fan, you'll probably know why that is. But in case you're not, basically last season, Joe Garner allegedly hit one of their players and should have got sent off, but he didn't get sent off. The referee sent off the wrong man, and then he went on to score two goals against them. But straight away, as you can see in the first minute, Joe Garner has a really good chance there. Gets something out of nothing really with that volley, but the keeper makes an easy save in the end. And the same story here, Welsh plays a nice ball into Joe Garner and just... Can't get enough behind it to beat the goalkeeper, Chris Neal, the ex-Preston goalkeeper himself. But then a nice ball into Gallagher here. Gallagher whips it in. Welsh gets the ball. Plays it into McAllister. McAllister has the shot and the goalkeeper makes a nice save indeed. Unlucky not to score. Looking for his first goal of the season. But some bad news we do have. Josh Brownhill pulled up in the middle of the match. And basically he is out injured now, so he did indeed have to make the change. What I decide to do here is I decide to put Gallagher into the middle of the park as that cam and decide to bring Cal Reed on as the left mid. So it's really disappointing that we have lost Josh Brownhill. You know, you never want to lose a younger player, but Cal Reed has an instant impact, makes the keeper make a good save there. And we just kept pressing Port Vale. But, you know, when you get so many chances, you may feel like it's not going to be your day. But Chris Humphrey running down the wing, some nice play into Joe Garner but he just heads over the bar he can't seem to get his goal today and then McAllister plays a very nice ball into Joe Garner here who has another shot but that one goes over the bar as well Joe Garner just couldn't seem to find the back of the net today which is it's unusual for him but you know you got to let him off time a time uh, you know the odd day but I do decide to make some changes here I decide to change it up into a 4-4-2 formation decide to get another striker on the pitch just because we need to you know when you're getting late into the game, when it's about the 80th minute, you need to make some changes. So what I decided to do is I actually decided to bring on Andy Little because he's still looking for his first goal of the season, I believe. And I also bring on Neil Kilkenny, someone who was who I was looking to, you know, sort of break up the play in the middle. And as you can see in a second, as you can see the subs coming on there, one of them had an instant impact on the game. And that was Neil Kilkenny. Kilkenny getting the ball here, playing it into Andy Little. The two substitutes linking up well. And an unlikely goal scorer he is. Neil Kilkenny pops up the goal in the 81st minute. A really unlikely goal scorer, the centre mid. Neil Kilkenny doesn't normally score a lot of goals, but he did manage to get one there. It was a very nice finish. Bit of sloppy defending from Port Vale, but the finish was good enough from Neil Kilkenny, the centre mid, who normally you wouldn't expect to finish that good from him, but as you can see by the replays, he really did just bury that, and the keeper had no chance, no chance at all of getting near it. So Neil Kilkenny, he has his first goal of the season, and he gets pressed in the 1-0 lead over Port Vale, and you always fear it's not going to be your day when you have so many chances that you missed, but we managed to capitalise on one. And then Andy Little gets a really good chance here at the end of the game. But he smashes it against the bar. Really unlucky not to score that Andy Little. And really unlucky not to get his first goal of the series. But that is the end of the first of the first game. And we have won 1-0 away at Port Vale. So it wasn't the greatest performance in terms of finishing. But we certainly were creating enough chances to win the match. And we deserved it in the end. You know, Port Vale, I can't even remember them having a shot in this game. So a definitely deserved victory in the end. It was hard fought out. But we definitely did deserve the victory in the end. And the three points are all that matters in this sort of situation. But we get the news about Josh Brownhill after this, and it says there he's going to be out for four weeks. So really disappointing news, but this is where squad depth comes into it. You know, we have players that can replace him in the team. So going into the second episode of the game now, into the second episode, into the second game of the episode, we have the Johnson's Paint Trophy first 
round tie against Luton and we were at home for this match and what I decided to do for this game I decided to switch it up a little bit and go for a 3-5-2 formation and I played I didn't really play a very strong team I decided to play quite a lot of squad players really for this you know I put players like Stuckman in it there's the team I decided to go with in the end and I put players like Hayhurst in and I, and I gave a chance to Ben Davis as well and I had McAllister in the middle and as you can see there Stuckman in there and I gave the captaincy to Kevin Davis in the end because I thought you know a person of his experience should be able to dominate a game like this against Luton in the Johnson's Payne Trophy but in the Johnson's Payne Trophy you know it's never an easy game really it can either go one or two ways you know it's in the Johnson's Payne Trophy it could end up being a boring nil-nil tie but for this episode, we were hoping for a little bit of you know a difference. We did decide to put Paul Huntington in the team and Callum Woods, as you can see there, going in the 3-5-2 formation. And we were looking for goals, as you can see, McAllister getting his Johnson's Paint Trophy debut. And he was looking for a goal as well, but more so were Kevin Davis and Jermaine Beckford, especially looking for their first goals of the series. And Jermaine Beckford is definitely going to have a busy game this in today. You know, when you play that sort of formation with Quite a slow striker with Davis next to a quite a fast striker next to Beckford. You're going to expect a lot of goals from him. But we do get off to a good start here, guys. Ben Davis, who I was playing as a quite a defensive left mid, has a good chance here. Cuts inside, beats his man, and gets the shot away. But the goalkeeper makes a good save. Wasn't the best shot in the end straight at the keeper. But nevertheless, the keeper pulled off a good save. You know, you never know if they're going to go in when you are playing a League 2 opposition. But Will Hayhurst here runs down the wing. Whips in a nice ball to Jermaine Beckford, who just can't direct his head onto target. So, just heading over the bar. Bit disappointing, but it was a difficult one. As you can see there, he had three defenders around him. So, it was always going to be a difficult one for him to score. But, he gets another chance here. Kevin Davis playing the ball over the top to him. And I think that's what Kevin Davis is best at. Probably not finishing anymore, but playing the balls over the top. But, the keeper makes another good save from the second chance of the episode for Jermaine Beckford. Really unlucky not to score. Keeper makes a very good save indeed. And then, we have Kevin Davis and Jermaine Beckford linking up again. And McAllister playing a great ball into Davis. Davis on the wing plays it into Hayhurst. Hayhurst, who really does have a nice delivery on this game. I must admit, his crossing has been good for me so far. But Beckford just heads over the bar again. His third chance of the episode. And it goes over again. It's just unbelievable. And then Kevin Davis gets an opportunity here and he bags it into the back of the net just before half time. And in real life, he's not actually scored for about a year now. So to get a goal early on in the season in the Johnson's Paint Trophy, which is a season uh, competition that Davis is probably going to feature in a lot this season. It was a nice finish indeed. As you can see, he actually pulled it through the goalkeeper's legs. Very nice finish indeed. And the League 2 goalkeeper just couldn't stop that. It was hit very, very powerfully. And after Davis had scored, we just went on the rampage. Jermaine Beckford just absolutely ran at them. The defence didn't know what to do, and he just popped it into the top corner. Absolutely fantastic finish for his first goal of the series, and he was delighted to get the goal. As you can see there, the crowd were going wild, and it was a really nice finish indeed. You know, I got into that position, and I honestly thought he was going to miss, but if you just watch that finish there, he actually composes himself. He stops the ball, composes himself, and then puts it into the top corner with a very nice finish indeed, and... You know, he should. It was a great finish in the in the end, and put it into the top corner. The goalkeeper was never going to get anywhere near that at the end of the day. And then we have another chance here with Cal Reed. Cal Reed just running at them, and that's the thing you can find with League Two defenses. You can just run straight at them, and they just can't put the tackle in. And then Preston go three 0 in front, and Luton just couldn't handle us at the moment. Cal Reed just absolutely splitting their defense apart. Look at this. He goes past about four defenders and smashes it. The goalkeeper the wrong way a bit like Brad Jones did the other day against Man United but very nice finish indeed and then we actually get a penalty here one of our players gets fouled in the box and Luton have given away a penalty so really disappointed for them but we did have the chance to make it 4-0 and Jack King stepped up for the responsibility from the penalty spot and he put it straight down the middle. Very nice finish from the centre-back indeed. I decided not to give this penalty to Kevin Davis because he did actually miss one in real life the other week. But I did give it one to him. But Stugman being forced into a save there and showing that he can be our number one keeper this season. And then that was the full-time whistle that went there. As you can see, the player's delighted. I actually decided to bring on Jack Ryan, as you saw him celebrating there for the last 10 minutes. Just gave him a little bit of a run-out. But, 
you know, games like this are potentially, you know, banana skins. You can potentially get a bit of an embarrassment, but we did win it. And there is the table at the end of the episode, guys. As you can see, we are now in sixth place. We are, as you can see, Yeovil and Fleetwood still top of the table, but we are on eight points. We have started the season well with two wins and two draws. So what I'm going to do now, guys, I'm going to show you the squad report. I think I'll show you the squad report, you know, once every now and again just so you can get a gist of how old of the players are feeling at the moment and make sure you leave a like on this episode guys i'll just play some music for this to end and yeah make sure you leave a like make sure you check out all the links in the description down below and also make sure you check out the next episode as well because we have a very important match in the league against sheffield united so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one